Hey everybody, I'm Pete Timoney, and today we're going to be creating a Moho character that you can animate using a pre-existing line drawing. Alright, so today we're going to be creating this character in Moho. This is Lemmy the Skunk Ape, and this drawing was done by my twin brother, Bobby Timoney, and you can see all of our artwork and comics on our website, twincomics.com. <laughs> Alright, so this is a line drawing that I imported. Now, there are ways to convert line drawings to um, vector drawings, but I find that it's not worth it. Uh, when I create a character, I like to create each individual piece of the character on its own layer, which makes it easier to animate it later on, particularly if you're going to be doing a head turn. I imported this simply by going up to File, Import, and Image, and then selecting the image of course, and then resizing it for my desktop. But here it is. Ha ha. Time to begin. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create the head and I'm going to first create a new layer. I'm going to click this new layer button and I'm going to select vector layer. And I'm going to name this vector layer head. Name it head. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to go over to my fill layer and I have it set at this green color and I drop the opacity all the way down to here. This will allow me to draw my vectors directly over the line art and I'll be able to see the lines underneath. So now I go to my draw shape tool or I could just hit S on my keyboard and I could use any one of these shapes that I want, but since Lemmy here is mostly circles in design. I'm going to use the circle tool. It's just going to be easier that way. And I'm just going to draw a circle. Now I want the circle to match the shape of the head. So using my transform points tool, I'm just going to take each point and drag it out until it's roughly head shaped. Now, don't worry about this part here. That's going to be its own separate layer. That's going to be the mouth layer. But I want to change this curve right here because it doesn't quite line up. So I'll use my curve tool and I'll adjust these bevels like so. So there's my basic head shape. Now I'm going to create this mouth shape underneath. So I'm actually going to do that in two shapes. So first thing I want to do is create another vector layer which I'm going to call mouth and the first circle I create is going to be for this black part behind the cheek so I'm just going to do that and I'm going to adjust like so Right, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to draw another circle for the outer part of the mouth. And this one's going to conform more closely to this bottom mouth shape. There we go. Now he's looking kind of Frankenstein-y, but don't worry, we're going to we're going to fix all that. <laughs> um, all right. So there's my head shape. I'm going to draw the mouth in later. Uh, I want to put the nose in next. So once again, I'll create a new vector layer and name it nose. And we're just going to make a circle here. I'm going to zoom in there create a couple of nostrils. That one looks a little wonky. I'm going to bring it up a bit. All right. So now what I want to do is see how this bottom part is open here. I want it to be open from here to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a point here and I'm going to add a point here. And let me just do a little adjusting real quick. Pull that down a bit. Bring that in. This point's going to end right there. This point's going to end right about there. 
All right, so next I'm going to go over to my hide edge tool and I'm just going to hide that edge and that edge. And since this is kind of a blobby abrupt ending and I don't like that, I want it to taper a little more. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this point and then I'm going to go to this tool, which is the line width tool. And I can hold the mouse down and drag to the left to tighten it up and taper it or alternately I can make it fatter by going the other way but I'm gonna taper that and then I'm gonna taper this one too so like so and now I can see my lines a little weird here uh, so let's fix the curves on that a little bit let's bring that out a bit I might actually just put in another point here and there we have our nose shape. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit. Now, you should be getting the basic idea right now. Um, the only other thing I want to say is that when I'm creating the ears, and sometimes even the eyes, I like to put those on their own separate layers. Because if we're going to do a head turn later, you're going to see the right ear here kind of recedes behind the head a bit. And if we're going full profile, it's going to be behind the head entirely and the same thing is true of that right eye so I, I like to put these on separate layers uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up Lemmy here and now what I want to do is for the inner uh, ear lobe thing I'm just gonna use the uh, freehand tool just for this one part so I'll just draw it out like that and like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other ear. Now for the hair, I'm going to use the triangle because it comes to a point here. Let's bring a triangle. and. I'm going to grab this point and bring it to here, and this point to here, and this point to here. Now, I'm just going to add points like that. So there's the hair. I can add a couple more points here which I usually do anyway particularly if I'm going to do a head turn because as the head turns so does the um, shape of the head and the hair you'll see starts poking up in the back so if I have a couple extra points here when I go to do that head turn later I can point them out and make head hair points now for this stripe in the middle because I'm, I'm hiding the hair behind the head uh, but the stripe in the middle is going to be in front. So I'm actually going to add that to my head layer. Or actually maybe just make a new new layer for it entirely. Which I'll call uh, stripe. Stripe. Exclamation point. Bam. Alright, now let's make the stripe. Now, these points that I'm adding right now are curved rather than pointy because I have this selected. Um, but this one's sharp and this one's sharp. And I want to unsharpen that one. One quick and easy way to do that, this is the sharp point, is up here. This button sharpens, this one curves, boom. Now I've curved it out. There we go. Nice stripe. Yeah. Uh, just uh, bring that down a little bit. I think one more point. There we go. Moving on to the eyes. Now we got eyes. 
Uh, what's left? I guess his mouth. Um, I'm going to hold off on the mouth for now because I'm going to do another tutorial where uh, I create mouth shapes using uh, a switch layer so that we can do phenomes and, and quickly animate uh, this character talking. So for now I'm just going to skip the mouth. And let's talk about color. Uh, right now we just have the pale green here for all the colors. Uh, but now we can start coloring it and there's a quick and easy tool that we can use. So for example, uh, I know that this shape and the nose and the ears are all going to be the same color, uh, his skin tone, which I'm going to go with um, a light gray. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a new style and I'm going to call it skin. And the skin style, I'm just going to pick a gray here. One of these grays. Bring the opacity up. Uh, and there's my new style. So now I can apply this style to these pre existing shapes. So, for example, go to my head shape and I'm going to select the shape using the select shape tool over here. And all I have to do is come down here to style number one and select skin. If I go to my mouth shape, select that. Make that skin. I'll go to my nose. We'll make that one. Whoops, clicked the wrong thing. We'll make that one skin. And uh, on the eye layers, I got these two eyebrows here, so I'm going to click that, skin, click that, make it skin. Uh, and all, of course, both the ears. Click inside the ear. Keep getting my left and right mixed up. Skin. And. skin. Now these ears, I want them to be behind the uh, head, so I'm just going to move them down to the bottom, like that. And we're looking pretty good. Now there was this other shape hidden behind this mouth shape here, which is going to be black. So I'll get a uh, zoom in on that shape. So I've got the shape behind there selected and this time I'm just gonna change it manually move the opacity all the way up move that there and now it's black and we got my eyes I want to make these black too opacity up And the inner eye, we're going to make white, but it's the same thing. I got to increase the opacity. All right, looking pretty good. I, uh, there is one thing I noticed. Uh, I forgot to do the curve on the head there, so I'll go ahead and do that now. back to my head shape I can change this back to the skin tone and I got my stripe okay now a couple of things um, I have uh, this line here which I want to be hidden behind the mouth uh, so the hair needs to come down behind the head like that and 
me just hide the drawing for a second. I see what's going on here. I didn't color in this. Didn't color in the hair yet. So do that real quick. No, nope, black. Boom. And there we have it, except for the mouth. Oh, and uh, this line here, I don't want that line there, so that's on the mouth layer. Now, really quick, I have this uh, layer behind there selected already. If I wanted to bring it forward, I would just have to hit the down arrow, or the up arrow, rather, on my keyboard, and that brings it to the front. But I want it behind there, so I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to have to add a couple of points here because I want this to be hidden from here. I missed. From here. And another one here. Bring this down a bit now. That's a weird curve. Let me fix that. Okay, and I'm just going to hide that edge and that edge. And I see I just got to bring that edge down a bit. And that's what he looks like. Now, the next video I make, I'm going to be creating his mouth and showing you how to create a switch layer. And develop all the phenomes you need so it looks like Lemmy is talking. I hope to see you there. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this brief tutorial. Uh, if you did, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thanks.